And for the first deck of the Vivid Voltage format, I have ADPization. I know it's not terribly exciting, but I mean, Vivid Voltage isn't terribly exciting. Yes, there's a whole bunch of new cards to try, but for the most part, things are going to stay the same. And for this, for ADPization, all I did was add an Aegislash V and an Aegislash VMAX. I think the VMAX won't even make it into most decks. It'll mostly just be the V. And the reason for that is Aegislash V... Yes, it only has 210 hit points, Slash only does 50, but Sonic Edge, this attack damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, so that means Decidueye, Altaria, Obstagoon, none of those things can get blocked anymore, and with ADP's Alter Creation, you're doing 160, so Aegislash V is your answer to those single prize wall decks, and then Aegislash V max, max hack. If you get enough prizes, if you take five prizes, you're doing what, 340 with Altered Creation, so that just sweeps out the end of the game if you're with one prize left. And one of the things that sometimes happens with ADP is you don't take a prize or you don't hit into someone just because of the prize trade. It doesn't really matter. You know, you don't push yourself to take a knockout that doesn't matter. So with Aegislash VMAX, if you take a seemingly inconsequential knockout right at the beginning, it actually helps boost the damage for later in the game. So I think Aegislash VMAX can have a place in the deck. But overall, I think Aegislash V is really the only inclusion ADPization needs. And to make room for them, I think I just cut a Chaotic Swell. And I can't remember what else, but I have 9 Metal, 2 Water. I, I always feel really super sketched out when I only have 2 Water, because I, if, I, if you prize one and they hammer the other, what are you going to do? But this is what I got. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going second. That means I got a rush. And hey, we're starting the Aegislash V. This is kind of a horrible starting hand because I have the water energy, so I can't use the Denny. Uh, I mean, if I top deck something real good, oh, this is bad. But this is good. You know, it's bad, but it's good because I wanted to see sort of a new deck, and I think this will probably play the Telescopic Sight. Maybe it'll play War Beetle. Maybe it'll play Barrastuda. So this should be interesting. I, I, as long as I'm facing not necessarily new decks, but decks with new cards, I'm happy. And I think if you're playing Teleon VMAX today on launch day, you're throwing in some things. But And there's a train in the background. That's cool. But these air balloons make me think they're not playing Telescopic Sight. And wow, that train is... train's not even close, and you can hear it. That is, that is pretty crazy. And they're playing the Frostmoth, so... Perfect, perfect top deck. Thank you. I, so I can go get an ADP. I put a medal in the discard. This is great. Everything you want to have happen is happening. I just need to draw some cards. The unfortunate thing with Aegislash V is that it has a three retreat cost, so I need switch. And one, well, no, I was two cards short still. That is, that is tough. But I have Age of Slash VMAX. Okay, so this is this is an interesting hand. But I've been playing, you know, right before... Oh, no. Come on, Tails. Oh, dear. See, this is what I'm talking about. With Crushing Hammer running wild, if you only play two water energy, your opponent can just completely destroy you. But, I mean, if they can't evolve, maybe I just go for a double saucer attach knockout play, but oh no, they're going for the VMAX. Okay. So the VMAX, oh, they're going for Frostmoth. So they they probably have a research or something in their hand because they're not just going to... Oh, they have, oh no. I, I don't like Marnie. Mar Marnie's never fun. Okay, so all my good cards are on the bottom of my deck. I got two bosses, and that is just... Man, I think that Marnie, like, what am I even supposed to do? So, I, so that's getting knocked out, probably. I guess I bosses the Frost Moth, attach to, I mean, I still think I need to get Alter Creation off, right? Because if I, if I Alter Creation, I don't, I don't even know if that makes sense. Okay, well, let's do that. Um... The air balloon, I think the air balloon I should hold on to. I know they might Marnie me, but I don't really know who I should put up there. You know, who should get the air balloon? There's... Oh, jeez. And, wow, so there's... Oh, <laughs> Marnie. 
Oh man, this is... You know, I come back to the Pokemon TCG after after some time off and my opponent's hitting every crushing hammer. They're just marning me out of everything I need. They're getting all the cards they need. Oh, they're not. Okay, good. So there's a useless ADP. I guess I crushing hammer the Frost Moth if I hit it, which I don't. Okay. Third time's the charm. Nope. Okay. So at the very least, I can do things next turn. Uh, you know, the the bad thing is is that things aren't really going well for me. Oh, and they got an air balloon. Wow. They play... Oh, my God. Three Marnies in a row. Is it three different Marnies? Because they got the Marnie from Champion's Path. They got the non-hollow Marnie from Sword and Shield. Okay, I only got two from Champion's Path. Okay. And, oh, don't. Don't tell me. Three Crushing Hammer in a row. Three... Okay, good. So they probably just have... Okay. So at this point... I don't even know what I can do at this point. All right, so... That's fun. So I can't attach the metal energy because I need to figure out a way to get that water. And wonderful. So thin out the ADP. I can get Mawile, but then if I get Mawile, I can't to Denny. Uh, I mean, is Mawile even going to come into play here? I think so, because it would be... I knocked out a Crobat and then to Denny. I know they played to Denny, so I think holding on to the Mawile is a good idea. There's Age of Slash being my okay. So things didn't really work out for me here. I can Max Hack doesn't do anything. They can't knock out uh, actually I think I just let them knock out the the Age of Slash. Because if they take I don't want them to take three prizes. Oh my dude. So I'll just Intrepid Sword. There's the Denny. There's the Zacian. Because if I evolve into Age Slash VMAX, then they just need to knock out an ADP for game. If I make this, I don't know. What was the, what was the right move there? If I evolve into Age Slash VMAX, it makes their ability to take this knockout a lot more difficult. But then it just means they're an ADP away from winning. And this thing would have had 280 damage on it. And then they would just be a max bullet away from knocking it out anyway. Oh dear. Who are they putting the damage on? ADP? Yes, they are. So this ADP is going down. Now is when I think I evolve into... Oh, dear. Okay, so they're... They're doing some interesting things. I'm not quite sure I agree with what they're doing, but they're doing it. So I'll evolve there. I know they don't have anything in their hand. So... I don't want to put 150, so I have to use Alter Creation. I will definitely get rid of their air balloons. And then I think I just need to go for, oh man, I think I just need to go for like maximum damage here. So I, I'm going to have a Zacian left. I have Mawile, I have the Denny. I, th I need that water energy real bad. So it's going to go for a research and hope for a spinner or a water energy. And we got the spinner. Okay. So there's the water energy. I'm going to alter creation. Uh, I don't think I can win, because I'm down two Metal Saucer. I never got a single energy off an Intrepid Sword. Please hit. Thank you. So I'll do that. Uh, I guess I should just put this on one of the Crobat, and then Alter Creation, and if they somehow don't get the energy this turn, that is beautiful. You know, for... I didn't Marnie them because I didn't want them to get cards. Okay, so at the very least, they have to go and get somebody. They have to get to Denny. I can knock out a Crobat. Because, oh no, that's what I cut. I cut the Great Catcher and I cut a Chaotic Swell. That's what I cut to make room for the Aegis Slash V and VMAX. So, it doesn't matter if I bosses the Denny or the Crobat. Uh, I'm down two bosses, so I will need the Eldegoss from my prizes. Tool Scrapper doesn't matter. Uh, if I can... Oh, if they, if they don't take this knockout... But they're just going to use Hydro Snipe. So... Oh no, but then I have the Energy Switch. Oh, this could work out. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, and they're going to Crobat. So I actually want them to take the knockout this turn, which is just crazy. I want them to take this knockout. 
Well, I mean, I don't want them to. Okay, so they're just going to hunt that guy. I don't have a Marnie. Okay. You know, if I hadn't evolved into Aegislash VMAX, then they would already, you know, they'd have one prize left, and I don't play a reset stamp. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I will attach there. I will bosses. I mean, it doesn't really matter, so I'll bosses that guy. And then Brave Blade, and I need, I need double Metal Saucer, and then I can win. Double Metal Saucer, and oh, they, they got it? So they have the bosses. That, that is tough. You know, if, man, those Marnies, you come back to the Pokemon TCG, you're expecting a fun time, brand new set, new cards, old deck, and then it's just Marnie, 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 Hammer, Hammer, Yellow Grunt. Oh, man. Okay, well, that was a crushing defeat. I'll go to game two and let's get a win. I'm going second again, and I guess Zacian is the optimal starter here. And then I just have to... Oh, they play the new Snorlax. See, this is this is what I like. I couldn't check my opponent's last deck, so I don't actually know if they played any Vivid Voltage cards, but <laughs> look at that happy Snorlax. So Gorman dies. They're going to have seven cards in their hand to end the turn, and then I'm going to Marnie them, and they're going to be real sad. Oh, don't tell me it's a freaking stall deck. It's not a stall deck, is it? With just, like, Team Yellow Grunt? Okay, Martial Arts Dojo, so it's an attacking deck. They're using that happy, happy Snorlax. So I think I will... I mean, they didn't do anything. And so they, they have Cynthia and Caitlyn, Cynthia and Caitlyn, and then I don't know. So I think I just... Since I don't really have anything, I'm just going to Marnie, because it looks like they're playing kind of a slow deck, so I can take my time. Okay... I guess I just put the Balloon and Intrepid Sword, because they're playing a fighting deck. So putting the Dedenny down, you know, when I don't absolutely have to, clearly would be a bad move. Okay, so they're playing Flygon. There's a... There's a Fly... What, what is it? The, is it Flygon GX? Is Gassy actually playing a Flygon GX in this day and age with Karate Belt? One man dies, so I'm just an energy switch away from really hurting them here. Uh, I mean, again, I could just wait. Because if I wait, that's good. Or, no, please don't tell me it's a... Oh, no, please don't tell me it's like a, a stall deck with... Whatever, I'm just, I'm just going for it. I'm gonna, gonna do that, get an Intrepid Sword. We're taking our time. I got boss's orders, I got crushing hammers. I'm not losing my crushing hammers against a deck that I have no idea what they're playing. So I can't bosses that. There's the energy, that's good. They probably play red and blue, if I had to guess. <laughs> There's the Marnie. Okay. Man, I if I had to choose one card that I wish not necessarily banned, I just wish it wasn't as good. Which I guess means I want it to be banned. Oh, great. So this is what happens when you play it safe. Okay, so they don't have anything that would make me think that the Age of Slash is necessary. I could I could do a bosses on the Trapinch now, but I think I'll just wait. Okay. Yeah. You know, why why didn't I Brave Blade? Well, I did misclick. But Brave Blade takes a knockout, it activates Dojo, so I think holding off was actually a good idea. They got the stone energy. I can't remember what Flygon GX does at this exact moment, because when's the last time you ever saw anyone play Flygon GX? They're playing Cynthia and Caitlyn, though. That's what... Like, you're playing Tide Call, and you're playing Cynthia and Caitlyn, so is this literally just like a... from, from What? I don't know what their game plan is, because you should be playing red and blue. They're getting Marnie back. This can't be a stall deck, because it's an attacking stall deck? I, I have no clue what I'm facing right now, because I can't use bosses on these things. I'm just going to use Alter Creation, 
Uh, I'll probably energy switch and energy up to the ADP. Uh, actually, no, that seems like a that seems like a horrible idea. I'll just alter creation. I can bosses the Snorlax unless they play Scoop Up Net. Uh, I do have Mawile hiding somewhere in the deck, so that would be good. What does Flygon GX do again? I can I cannot remember. I, th I actually think Aegislash VMAX might come in handy this game. So I might put it down just to sort of see what happens because well, there's another Snorlax. Well, that is risky because you play Mawile GX for reasons like this, where your opponent might put something back into their hand. And it's also obviously for Crobat and Denny to nullify their effects. But if they scoop up these Snorlax and think they're safe in their hand, I'll just put Mawile down, put down two Snorlax, and that's four prizes. So they're they're playing a little bit dangerously here. I'm, yeah, there's okay. So does two forty and discard the stadium, and then two twenty. So they're not they're not knocking out ADP unless I take a knockout, and then they're not knocking out Aegis slash Vmax unless I. Oh dear, that was close. Okay, so. I think I ultimate ray, and then the cool thing with Aegislash VMAX is that one of the energy requirements is colorless. Let's see if it, there it is, max hack, yeah. So one of the energy requirements is colorless, so that is awesome. And Aegislash V, like I think, ultimately I think Aegislash V isn't going to be as game changing as it might seem. You know, yes, Sonic Edge. It, it is a great attack, but I think just the potential of Aegislash V is going to be enough to make the change. I think Decidueye players, they're not going to want to play for Big Parasol and just all that craziness just to deal with this one card that they can't really knock out anyway. So I think just the idea of Aegislash is going to be enough to put Decidueye off the dune out of the format. And then as soon as you think it's gone, it's going to come back. So it's just one of those yo-yo effects. Oh. Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's, if they evolve into Flygon GX, I win. So I, I applaud, I applaud the effort, Gassy. I like seeing this, you know, it's, it's a deck I've never seen before. You're trying out some new combos. You Marnie, you reset stamp me into exactly what I needed. Uh, okay, they're just going to Gormandize, that's fine. So I think this is Checkmate, because if they, as soon as they evolve into anything, I win. Uh, and it's just supporters, I think, right? Okay, that didn't work. And Ultimate Ray. So I just need to take a knockout. And yeah, I'll just... Done. So how much damage is Aegislash VMAX doing? Because I think... I think Flygon has 240, so right now it's doing 280 plus the 30 from Alteration, so it's doing 310 damage. So your Flygon GX is going to take a knockout, uh, but then Aegislash VMAX is going to take the knockout in return, and it's going to be beautiful. Please don't concede, Dassey. That would be amazing, so I'll be real quick. I'll promote it. I'll max hack. I won't waste anyone's time, and you will not concede because you're awesome. Trying new things on launch day, I applaud it. I'm just out here with 80 Fization, and I threw in an Age of Slash V and V Max. That's not very interesting. And oh, right, the Stone Energy. So I was doing 280 because I can't do math or something. I don't know. But yeah, that was. Uh, I think I might end the video there. Just a real short video. Just to show, I got to show off Aegislash VMAX at the very least. It did a ton of damage at the end of the game. That's why I like it in ADPization, is because you can just take that big knockout. You know, the, the Zation V it maxes out at 260, and everyone knows that you're maxed out at 260. With Aegislash VMAX, suddenly you can do over 300 damage. Or is it 280, 290? I don't know. Math, not my strong suit. But I think Aegislash VMAX is going to be the bigger help in the long run than Aegislash V. Aegislash V takes out Decidueye and Obstagoon and Altaria, but Aegislash VMAX, it closes out games, it takes knockouts that are 
just really big. It takes out every tag team that's meaningful. So I think in the long run, Age of Slash VMAX is better. Uh, right now, I mean, you can play the old adp and still get some wins. I think Age of Slash V and VMAX are nice. I think they'll make some changes uh, to the format. But again, Vivid Voltage is not an amazing set that is going to, you know, it's not like there's 10 brand new decks in Vivid Voltage. It's Old decks that were good now have some new, to new tools, and Age of Slash V and VMAX are one of them, and I think the VMAX is better than the V. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Age of Slash, Vivid Voltage, the deck as a whole. And other than that, I will see you in the next video, which I think is going to be Lucario Melmetal. That will probably go horribly, so I'll see you then.